Hey guys. Um. Let's remove the starting soon. I need to do an image for this. <laughs> um, GIMP. Let's get out of GIMP. Okay. Ready. Hey, Carlos. What's up? Good night. How are you doing? Mm, I'm going to do some coding here. Um, here, can I increase the size? Yeah. Not much. Okay, let's open first things first, uh, GitHub. I'm gonna create a new project and I'm gonna do a Telegram bot. I have no clue how to do it. I should open Telegram probably too. Okay, let's open Telegram. And, and I'm going to start defining the project. So this is not exactly work, but it's workish related. So, it's the first time I'm, uh, I was given permission to stream while working on this project, so it's cool. Because I don't usually stream when I work. Um, okay. So the idea is going to... Sorry about the windows. <laughs> the idea is going to be to create... I'm going to Google Telegram bot because I, I've never done any. And, okay, I, I guess I should first explain what are we going to do. So I'm going to create a Telegram bot for the students of a university. And the university is the USC. And I know all the information I need is on the website. So the bot is going to be able to answer stuff like... Um, okay, let's go here to the university. Stuff like the timetable of the different subjects and teachers and uh, rooms, exams. So, information on that. First, you have to register via Botfather. Okay. I'm sure I will find uh, this. I, I've already re read this someday. Yeah, I remember that about Botfather. Um, okay, now I need to find... It's the first time in this website for me. I need to find the information. Uh, centros, departamentos. So I need to find philology, philology, German philology. Probably here. Uh, science, science, okay, philologia, English, German, yes. I think it's going to be hard. Nah, nothing's hard. So I'm going to start tonight. And I will finish coding it next week, probably. Because they need a bot to do it for others. What? Okay, where do I have the information I'm looking for? Ir a la web propia. Ah, they have a proper website. Let's see. Uh, and it's a link to the same page. Cool. I am angry. I am angry because this page is useless. Okay, let's go back. I mean, I don't really need the information because I have a person who's going to be in charge of that. But I would like to have a, an idea of it. Uh, 
Or maybe you need to be logged in or something to access that information. That wouldn't make any sense to me. It should be public information. Uh, secciones. <laughs> Estudios. Nope. Nope. Mm, sort of. Well, at least we have the exams here. The exams calendar. But... I know there's some place where I can see the subjects and uh, da, 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 cursos. Oh, this website is terrible. <laughs> oh, that is mm -hmm. planning. Planning. What is planning? Okay. Aha, uh -huh. found it. No, but this is Pharmacia. Aha. Uh -huh. I need to go to Centros again. Where was Centros? Where was Centros? Ah, not departamentos, but centro. Okay. All right. All right. Filología. There you go. Guía de centros, graus, blah, 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 blah. Calendario. So this is calendar. <laughs> 2015-2016, okay, cool. Um, and now what? Ah, here, organize, oh, okay, finally, finally. Horario de aulas, okay. Uf, da. Okay, so I pick one of them. These are the different rooms in the school. I pick one. And that's all the calendar for that. Weekly. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. And I can see probably this subject. It's on calendar. Or not. Oh, but I have the program, which is cool. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, yeah, schedule here. Mm -hmm. Practice groups. Mm, a lot of work I will have here. And teachers. And from the teacher I have some info too. I will probably scrap all of this. Don't tell anyone. All right, and exam exams here with all the information. All right. Okay, a lot of information there. I agree. Hmm. Let's start with developing a bot. Um, so I'm going to create a new repo. Where am I writing? <laughs> Sorry. Chum. Chumskino. Can I use uh, that character? No. <laughs> As Chumski slash O. Ah. Uh.
Hey, John John. Yes, I'm back doing some some coding. I'm just starting. I'm just creating a new repository to code. Um, the name is already a problem because I've been suggested Chomskyño has to be the name because Chomsky, you know, Noam, and uh, Iño is the way to say like little in Galician. So this is little Chomsky. Hmm. So I'm gonna call it little Chomsky instead. Um, recovered from your loss earlier. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congrats on your win. That was that was a good one. Yeah. I I, I had forgot. <laughs> I had forgotten. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> uh, Telegram bot for uses UC philology, German philology. German philology uh, students to get info on their subjects, teachers, exams, etc. And philology is written like this, apparently. <laughs> okay. Public initialize with readme, why not? Add git ignore for. Oh wait. Hmm. I cannot use I wanted to to use node, but I cannot use node because I think the hosting where we're going to put this is going to be PHP. So So okay, it will be PHP. Is there nothing for PHP, nothing for PHP units? Okay, let then no git ignore for the moment create repository and what do we have here what can I do with bots lots of students okay how do bots work how do I create a bot there's a bot for that just talk to bot father described below and follow a few simple steps cool once you've created a bot and received your authorization token head down to the bot API manual let's open this in a new tab da -da -da -da. you may also like to check some code examples yes I want that PHP, a complete app implementation, a pure bot, fully extensible via plugins, this sounds good, an SDK with Laravel support, okay, Telegram bot as it should be, <laughs> this is, okay, simple way to communicate, yeah. a symphony wrapper bundle for Telegram bot API, Huh, I don't want to use Symfony for this, do I? Hmm, it could be useful for some things. Hmm. Okay, one thing with this is I'm going to create an engine for like pattern matching, something like that for like when people talk to the bot, we need to have some rules how to answer. And that's the real work of the person behind this project. So she's going to... I need to give her the tool to build a, the bot conversation from like a set of files or something simple because she's not a developer. So I think I'm going to use YAML, but I don't need Symfony for that. I can do it by hand. Yeah. No, let's let's not. Let's not. I think I like this one. Pure PHP Telegram bot, fully extensible. So I'm assuming it's already a bot, a working bot. It's not an API implementation. It's not just that. And then we have this bot as it should be. Okay, let's see this one. To start with.
Okay, I already have this, so let's clone or download. I'm in my workspace here. All right. Okay, I opened this one. PHP Telegram bot based on the official Telegram bot API. Last commit 6 January this year. This year, right? Yeah, three months ago. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And they do have unit tests. Okay, this project sounds good. Whoa, a lot of documentation here. Create your first bot, message bot, father. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh huh. Uh, I could have forked this project instead of um, creating a new one. Okay, let's clone it and follow the instructions. I think I like this one. Uh, instructions, instructions, create your first bot. Message bot father here, so if I click this, okay, never mind. I thought it would open Telegram. Okay, it's open in Telegram. Okay, this is the bot father, bot father. Now can I go back? <laughs> Botfather is the one bot to rule them all. Use it to create a new bot account and manage your existing bots. Okay. With the following new bot. Start. Alright, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. Let's see if I can use the name we want with this strange character. Good, now let's choose a username for your bot. It must end in bot, like this, for example, Tetris bot or Tetris bot, okay. Um, Chomskinio bot? <laughs> Sorry, this username is invalid. Okay. So, little Chomsky bot. Done. Congratulations on your new bot. Okay. Now every every one of you copy my my token. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't copy it, please. Copy code. It can be used by anyone to control your bot. No, terrible. Okay, please be kind, guys. Replace with blah, 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 blah. Type set privacy to bot father. Okay. Set privacy. Choose a bot to change group message settings. This one. Enable. Your bot will only receive messages that either start with this. Da, 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 da. So. I think you can generate a new token whenever you want. Yeah, I'm gonna do it uh, after the stream, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Um. What father replies choose a bot, you type or select, okay. Replies with type or select disable to let your bot receive all messages sent to a group. This step 
it's up to you actually. So enable your bot will only receive messages that either start with the slash symbol or mention the bot. Your bot will receive all messages that people send to groups. Um, I'm not sure about this. All messages sent to a group. Because this is not going to work in groups, I think. I think, but I'm not really sure. It's okay. I, hmm. You have a lot of lag going on. It, it, is it lagging my my stream a lot or is just the, de the delay? You know, there's like a 20 or 25 seconds delay on Twitch. Not too much lag, says Gizbold. Hello, Gizbold. How are you doing? All right. All right, um, I'm thinking about this, I don't know how it's going to gonna work. I think I'm going to click disable just to allow everything, but of course enable will be better performance because it will in ignore other messages. But uh, if I'm not going to put it in, I really trust it in all messages. Okay, disable, okay. Uh, reply success, Rawr. require this package with composer. In my project. Oh, cool. Then I didn't need to clone it, actually. I didn't need to clone it. Okay, but it's okay. Um, Come on, Composer, you can do this. It's like, and I get like more delay between them. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, we have Gastel, we have Longman there, which is the bot. Monologue for the logs, PSR. It's because your internet? Hmm. It's a bummer. Uh, choose how to retrieve Telegram and updates. The bot can handle updates with webhook or get updates method. Uh huh. Telegram says uh, direct to host. hosts. Host with HTTPS required, MySQL not required. And get updates you have to fetch. So this is just polling. Mm. Well, <laughs> it says just choose. <laughs> Like in your mind, <laughs> no, no command here. Okay, um, not sure, not sure how, because this is gonna be deployed in a server, so I could use actually the webhook too. But I guess for to start with, I will uh, I will use get updates. Oh, this is a webhook installation. Okay, and then the get updates installation. Okay, okay, okay. So webhook installation, head over to blah blah blah. Okay, Carlos, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, see you later. Thanks for stopping by anyway. I hope you have a good night. Okay, in order to set a webhook, you need a server, of course, blah blah blah, and uh, create a self signed certificate. And then add it there, this code, blah, blah, blah. 
and the hook PHP and then and set. Oh, so these names are actually required. Huh. So Telegram is going to use those specific endpoints. Okay, to upload the certificate, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I think I'm going to start with the get updates because that I can use here in, for local development. For best performance, the MySQL database should be enabled for the get updates method. Create with the following contents. Let me have a look. Um, okay. 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 So I'll need to create a database. Uh huh. Okay, I thought I had the key copied. I'm going to copy it later. So All right. Um Yeah, after the stream I'm going to change this this key so please don't mess around with <laughs> with this key during the stream. Be kind with me. So the username we said it was little chomsky bot. Okay. Uh, okay. For local development, I'm gonna use localhost, and I don't want to use the root user, so I'm gonna create a new one. MySQL. So. Create database um, Chomsky and how do you create a user in MySQL? Create user grant database. Can't remember the syntax. Uh, okay, create user part is okay. Uh, let's call it Chomsky at localhost identified by, and I'm gonna put a random password that it's only going to work in my computer, so I don't care if I show it. So let's put this. Okay. <laughs> okay, password doesn't. Sa oh, and I lost the history of the command. Password does not satisfy the policy requirements, of course. So. What are the policy requirements now? <laughs> no. Um, oh shit. Um, maybe I need an uppercase too. And a dot at the end. Okay, that worked. So let me copy that password. All right. Um, okay, this is okay, this is okay. 
and I need grant all privileges on blah 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 for that to work. So grant all privileges on blah blah, blah to Chomsky. But this is for all databases or what? Yeah, this is for all databases. So the first asterisk is for database and then for table. So what I should do is Chomsky here only for that database. Okay. Okay. Now it should work. And then flash privileges. Important. Okay. Next, give the file permission to execute, of course. Alrighty. And uh, I need to run it, okay. Chun, 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 chun. Okay, we had a warning. Base table or view not found. Table Chomsky telegram update doesn't exist. Did it have to exist? I thought he was going to create something. Okay, let's... I'm gonna do this bigger. So that you can read it better. Use Chomsky. Show tables. Oopsie. No tables. Okay, so... Okay, the explanation wasn't good. Import structure SQL. Okay. Uh, okay, this is to connect. Okay. Why does Twitch say this is one new video instead of a live stream? This? Uh, you clicked on Pepelu, one new video. I have no clue. I mean, I have a new video from the other day, the Crazy House League. I don't know if it's referring to that, but this is definitely a stream. <laughs> what are we doing here? And hey, welcome, Roken. How are you doing? Um, okay, so I need to import structure SQL, which is not here. Doing good? Cool. Which is not here, and it's probably in Bendor. <laughs> Vendor, Longman, Telegram, Structure SQL is there. I can also find it in, in the other project because I cloned it, but yeah, a proper thing to do would be take it from here, I think. Doing good? Okay, cool. Actually, I'm gonna remove the other, the other one. I don't need it. It's garbage. Uh, Telegram, what was the name? Telegram bot? Nope. Oh, it's PHP Telegram. No, what? The name of the project is PHP Telegram Bot. No, don't display all of them. What did I clone? <laughs> History. PHP Telegram bot, so it should be here. PHP, no auto completion. What? What the heck? It's not there. Did I? Did I remove it or something? <gasps> it's called Core. It's called Core, guys. Yeah, it has a structure there. So let's remove Core. Okay. 
back to this. So I'm going to import this SQL structure in our database. To do that, I need to do my SQL user Chomsky. Uh, ask for password, please. Uh, here's where the database name goes, Chomsky. And now the file, which is the last parameter of the previous command, isn't it? Password of the database, which is little chomsky dot. Yeah. Show tables now? Yeah. Okay, so now I guess the command should work. Get updates CLI. I hope it did something. What kind of virus is this? I'm going to do a Telegram bot. So for the moment I'm basing <coughs> it has to be PHP. So I'm gonna base my implementation on this Telegram bot um, based on the official API. It's recent, it's updated, it has unit tests, I like it. So I'm using this one. What is the purpose of the bot? Okay, it's going to answer to students of one specific university here in Santiago. So I have this website for the Philology Center <laughs> and I have all the information on teachers, subjects, rooms, uh, calendar, exams and the bot is going to answer this kind of information to students. Like a student would say, um, what is my next class? Oh, well, no, not that, but where is my next class of this specific subject and the bot would say um, next class is in 10 minutes in this room so hurry up or stuff like that okay um, it's kind of a workish thing so it's the first time I'm give I was given permission to stream something that I do for work. Um, okay, let's keep following the instructions. Um, this, okay, I run it. Get updates without database. If you choose to or are obliged to use the get updates with the database, no, but I will use a database. Okay, support, blah, 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 blah. Unix. Okay, I have the database, I imported the structure, and now whenever I want to use it, I need to do this. That is exactly the code we have on the, on the screen we just run. Okay, you can set a custom prefix, blah, 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 okay. External database connection, channel support. Okay, you're gonna get paid for these. Let's go. Uh, sort of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> you can enable <laughs> sort of things. Yeah, it's not exactly work. It's not for a customer. It's for a teammate. So, it's work-ish, it's not exactly work. You can enable the integration using this line you in your hookup. You can enable the integration. What, what, what is bot and IO? What is this? I'm curious now. Uh, it doesn't work very well, or I'm missing something. 
Haley. Good night, man. How you doing? How was your Tuesday? What is bot on you? Let me Google it. See relevant content for Botanio, blah, blah, maybe for sale. Nah, not good. Not good. A Telegram bot analytics system. Okay. Don't really need it. Skipping this. Commands. Predefined commands. The bot is able to recognize commands in a chat with multiple bots. It can execute commands to, that get triggered by chat events. Okay, here's the list. Start command, new chat, left chat, new chat title, new chat photo, blah, 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 blah. So should I add, you know, like to listen to a left chat member command, should I create this PHP? Is this the webhook is going to call? Huh. I don't know any programming because I'm dumb dumb. I just use weak. Hey, Squarespacey. A bit drunk. Okay, cool, whiskey. <laughs> as long as you have fun, that's great. Custom commands. Maybe you would like to develop your own commands. Hmm, maybe. Maybe at some point. With this method you can set some command specific parameters. All right. You're a bit jealous now, Rogan? Why? Because whiskey is drunk? <laughs> admin commands. Enable this feature, the bot admin can perform some super user commands like list all the chats started with the bot chats. List all the chats started with the bot. Yeah, I guess I want this for development. At least for dev, dev time. Hey, Karmar! Good night, man. Clean up all database entries. Show debug information, blah, blah, blah. Send message to all chats. Post any content you know. Inspect a user on a chat, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so probably I want to do that. Take a look at all default admin commands stored in the SRC blah blah blah, blah folder. Okay. Well, let's have a look. Vendor, Longman, Telegram bot, SRC, uh, admin? Nope. Commands, yeah, commands admin now. Uh, PHP, so. <laughs> okay, I guess this wasn't it. Uh, admin commands folder. Admin commands folder. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the folder. So we have chats, cleanup. Oh, it's the commands we, we've seen in the documentation, yeah. Broken timed out, Nightbot. For this stream, maybe we can live without Nightbot. <laughs> Coding time, yeah. Rawr. Set admins. You can specify one or more admins with this option. Enable admin, your Telegram user ID. Oh, cool. Uh huh. So if I make Pepe an admin, I can. Send these commands. Now, how do I enable this feature? It's not clear to me. Uh, na, 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 na. Maybe it's just this. Maybe if I enable one admin, the feature gets enabled. Okay, I'll I'll try that. Channel administration. To enable this feature, follow these steps. Add your bot as channel administration. This can be done with any Telegram client. Enable admin interface, blah, blah, blah. Enter a channel name as a parameter to the send to channel command. Upload and download. Okay. Fuck yeah, no strike one. Yeah, because the other bot is not running. Fizzy water bot is not here. 
Although I can put it there for you. <laughs> Hopefully my computer will not break. Okay. Now you can get strikes. Oh my god, demonetized! What? Oh, Nightbot is not here. What am I? What am I doing? Two forking rights. What are you doing, Rogan? Upload and download directory paths. To use the upload and download functionality, you need to set the paths with blah 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 blah. Okay. Do I want. Probably I want to upload. Like. The, some information is given in PDF on the website. So the bot might might attach PDFs to some message at some point. <laughs> this is a war, Rogan. Well done, you won. Actually, I can see the log here if if you if you want look at this message here. Executing command timeout Rogan Eagle 120 using bad words. Warning, could not parse notice from Twitch. And the notice is, you cannot time out moderator Rogan Eagle unless you are the owner of this channel. Which means, I can time out you, but not the bot. Okay. No, I could, I could. <laughs> Documentation, take a look at the repo, blah blah blah. For further information and tutorials. Oh, cool. Example bot. We're busy working on a full A to C to example bot to help you to help get you started with this library and to show you how to use it at all its features. You can check the progress on the example bot repository. Okay, I like that. That will help me. Projects with this library. <laughs> we have some people who used it. For example, Super Dice Roll seems like a, a cool thing to have a look at. So, uh, ah, this is the wiki, okay. Mm, create your own commands, composer, migrating, how to launch get updates, CLI script in background with a Chrome. Oh, with a daemon, okay. An A to Z example of a PHP Telegram bot. Okay, so they have hooks, they have this, and then they have the folder commands. Aha! This is what I will need to do. Oh, they have custom commands. Cool. Set and set hook and manager. And what do we have here? An example, super simple for rolling dice using the new feature inline query. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say me if you understand this programming gibberish that sounds like foreign language to me.
Mm-hmm. Oh, this is with certificate. So, okay. Where do I start with? Uh -huh. Maybe I should have started with this one instead of the other. But no, I think I did right. I'm requiring the... Oh, there's a bot manager. Makes life much easier as all configuration goes into a single file manager. If you decide to use the bot manager, be sure to read all about it and change the required block in the composer JSON file. Uh huh. <laughs> to be continued. Okay, but it's a starting point. Mm. Maybe I just start over. No, I will not start over because I basically have nothing here, just the composer. Um, and the get updates. Okay. Um. Oh, example bot dot zip. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's ignore vendor because you should ignore it. Uh, let's add git ignore and composer and um, okay. It's gonna be use um, Telegram bot or like this. Okay, and now the get updates. Uh, set up uh, get updates full script. And now is where I'm going to extract everything and see what happens. Maybe it explodes, maybe not. Whoa! Either this file is not a zip file or it constitutes one disk of a multi-part archive. In the latter case, the central directory and zip file comments will be found in... Whoa! Ah! Because it couldn't replace something? So it did extract something? No, it didn't. Okay. Then I'm gonna clone instead. Example bot. I don't understand programming, I mean. Okay. Um, example bot to the project where we were, a little jump ski. There. And now, let's see what do we have. We have some new things and probably Composer changed and Redmi changed too. So let's see the differences. The Redmi changed a lot, but I don't really need the new Redmi. So, so I'm gonna keep the previous one. Now about the Composer. Um, 
Oh, we have some additions, but the require is the same. It's just putting a version. Ah, it's just putting the last version, which is better. Okay, so I just need to edit the composer JSON and the get update CLI changed also. Uh huh. Uh huh. Vendor auto load. Okay, so that part didn't change. Uh, the admin users part changed and the command parts changed were added actually stuff was added and I think it's good stuff okay server responses start blah blah, blah. I, I like all the additions there uh, I need to to edit the comic though okay where do I start the redmi, I'm gonna keep the previous one. Yeah. The composer, hmm. I'm gonna edit it. Okay. Um, never use composer. Okay, it's just it's cool. Just a dependency manager, like Gulp Grunt or. NPM or is it good? Yeah, it's cool. It's it is good. It does not only work for PHP, but it is used a lot with PHP. And yeah, it's pretty good. Description PHP term dot example. Okay. I'm gonna copy the description from from here okay keywords telegram bot okay license Okay. Uh, and this is little Chomsky. And yeah. So this and this. Okay. Okay, so far I'm gonna be the only author on page. You left out the keyword global dominance. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> um I kind of want more coffee, but I don't have coffee. I need to make it. Um, what was the name? Little Chomsky again. Um, Graphs contributor, role developer, yeah, okay. So, composer. It's okay. And what else? Okay, now I need to add I need to edit the commit on the get updates because I like the new changes but of course the keys I need to keep these two keys so um, these lines are not going to be changed 
so I will keep them. I will not add this, and I'm going to add these lines instead of there, here. Let's hope this works, because sometimes Git for these things. And then, I'm going to keep the credentials, and I'm not going to add host, user, password, or database. Port is optional, yeah, but I'm going to keep it. So this part, I'm going to keep it like it was. And the rest is okay, I think. Yeah. No. So typical. So typical. Okay. So let me just copy this. Here. Okay. Uh, let me copy the other lines I need to restore. Copy. Uh, here. Okay. Um, there. Okay, now it's okay. And I think I'm going to add the rest. Yeah, commands, license, cron, hook, manager, set, and set. I'm going to add everything <coughs> and create a commit. Uh, set up sample bot. Okay, what does the bot do? <laughs> Making it yours. Uh, next, edit the following files, replacing all necessary values with those of your projects. Uh, okay, composer I already did. I didn't have a look at set and set hook, get updates and cron. Well, this I did. But the other, I probably need to, to change them to, for example, cron. Oh, I did. No, no, sorry, sorry, not CI. Okay, everything is fine. Chrome. Yeah, the API key. <laughs> uh, I should put all this configuration in, in, in a separate file, shouldn't I? Instead of copying them in, in, in every script. Okay, never mind. Let's first make it work and then I will refactor. So, I need cron, I need set, I need unset, I need... Um, as JSON? Nah, just a... Uh, yeah, it could be JSON, but... An uh, ini file, probably. It's more common in, in PHP. Because you even have a global function to read an ini file of key value. Um, Okay, set and set hook and the get updates. Um, so I'm gonna open all of them. Um, I'm gonna find API key, for example. I'm gonna open this. Oopsie. And now I'm gonna paste here okay beam here and here I think that was the last one yeah so this is good okay this this delete and this delete and okay, I've, I've, I've put all of them, I think. Wrong, yes. Hook set and set. 
cron hook set and set. Yeah. Using the bot manager makes life much easier as all configuration goes into a single file. Manager PHP. Do I have that file? Of course. And of course, I need the app key again. Okay, let me do something. Uh, let's find. I need to edit all of the all of those probably. So manager commands date command commands weather command. And just to copy, I'm gonna use set. Okay. So these two lines here. Um, okay. Let me see what do we have there. We have this. And we have this, and that's it. I can delete this, or actually, <laughs> look at that. I need this in this variable, and and I'm gonna keep this line. So just replace this one. Okay. And this was manager, okay. Could you make the API key as a global variable? Mm. No, I'm going to, I'm going to add it to a configuration file, I think. I don't know why the, this boilerplate project that doesn't have a config file in the first place. Okay, so where do we have it here? API key. Oh, but it's Google API key. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's why we have it in here. And probably weather has the same thing. Yeah, it's some other random API key. If you make loud keyboard sounds, then you can be instantly better at anything computer related. Okay, so it's done. It's, it, it was only manager. Okay. Modified manager, unmodified, all of those, okay. Probably I should amend the last the last commit because the last commit was uh, many things. Yeah, I'm gonna amend the last commit. All right. I was just curious. About the global variable, I hate global <laughs> things in general, therefore I'm not a fan of PHP, but um, when I use it, at least I try to use uh, as few global stuff as possible. If you decide to use the bot manager, be sure to read all about it and change the required block in the composer JSON file. Okay. Read all about it. Okay, so did I change the composer? I, I can't remember. <laughs> Oy, almost there. Um, no, it's not using the manager. So the manager gives us... stuff. Like setting... The manager can be used to set and unset and reset 
webhooks and also to get updates and fetching every five seconds this is an interesting one <coughs> and execute commands via cron also uh -huh. and okay we can run it the same commands via via terminal so that's cool because I don't need to set up a, a local server although I have a local server create the manager PHP file or set vital what parameters the API key in that yeah set extra bot parameters apart from the necessary API key the bot can be easily configured using extra parameters set the webhook enable admins that custom command path set up logging all no problem Rawr. Aha, uh -huh, cool. Complete list. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, look at that. For 84 random characters. The secret is a user defined key that is execute, required to execute any other. I, I was captivated by this, by this quote here. For 84 random characters, you have just execute. If you have that, or you go there, you get two guesses why 84 is a good number. That's a good one, Starger. Yeah. Two times the answer to life, universe, and everything else. Hmm. Yeah, I like that one. 83 is a better number. Yeah, 83 is a better number. And 89, 89 too. But okay, um, 1984 also interesting. Um, I don't know, should I use the manager or not? I can work without it, can't I? Making it yours. Um, I already changed these two files. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great book, isn't it? Now you can install... Okay, let's install the dependencies. And and to be continued, rawr! But this will set up the bot at least and we'll see it working or not. Let's see. Uh, one second. Nothing to install of or update. The log file is not up to date with the latest changes. I know. Let me remove the, the log file. Bam. Install it from there. Install everything. Graphical is usually more popular. Okay, well, this installs. I'm, I'm a little bit hungry.
Mm-hmm. You know what, let's do this. Just Butzer Swung, hello. How are you? Nightbot is not here, I think. So probably no commands work. What? You can add Comic Sans on everything if you download this. <laughs> no, no. No Comic Sans, please. Okay, give me a second, because I have this big board here in my wall, but one of the things I have pinned there is... Give me, give me a second. I, I have signed the Comic Sans pledge. Look, this is my signature. This is my pledge. I have it on my wall. The Comic Sans pledge. I, Pepe, Understand that my choice of font has the power to subconscious, subconsciously and incorrectly set the tone for a piece of printed material, and as a result, promise to seriously consider whether Comic Sans is an appropriate font choice before using it in any printed work in the future. Signed, my signature. This is in my wall, guys. And, to be honest, there, there's one use case where I found Comic Sans was a good one. Uh, I was in a comic we did. <laughs> yeah, in a comic we did Comic Sans. Really, really was okay. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, mm, what was I going to do? I was going to open Composer and change the requirement there. Okay, this. And Composer, I hope there's a clean or clear command. Nah. Clear, okay. Because I want to... Oh, clear sketch. Okay, I want to reinstall. Yeah. And... How many bits to change the GitHub font to Comic Sans? Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> No, there's no price for that. Niet, niet. All right, and now I should be able to run manager already, so PHP manager and according to the documentation we can do some stuff. For example, um, set and reset the, the webhook, whatever that does, <laughs> or get updates. Let's do get updates. Oh, or just nothing. Handle is the action, the default action. Okay. Description: Get updates needs MySQL connection. This can be overridden. See documentation. Failed to fetch updates. What? Didn't I? Set the MySQL. Maybe I didn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I have it in the script, but not here. And that's why we should have some sort of shared configuration. Okay. So let's see, this has to be like this. And the rest is more or less more or less good. Right? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, let's try now. Aha. Updates process zero. So I assume if someone... I'm a little bit blinded here because it's my first Telegram bot, but I assume the bot was created somewhere. And if someone talks to the bot, Telegram server will store that message somewhere. And here, whenever I try to get updates, I will get them. And then we will have a cron to to make it periodically. And then we will we can try the webhook solution, which should be better. Okay, so let's try our theory. Where is the bot? Can I find a user in Telegram knowing the name of the user? This will only search in my contacts, right? Saved. Let me see. Telegram preferences. Edit. View. Hmm. Okay. Little chumps key. Oh, yeah. It's here. What cron timing did you choose? I I'm still not using cron. Hey, Rogan. Okay, start. Okay, I already did the slash start command. But let's say hi. Hello, Mr. Stupid bot. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get some updates here. Yeah, updates process too. One is a command and the other is text. Cool. So now, um, let's understand what's happening. Those updates should be stored in the database. Uh, we have chat table and we have message table. We have user table. Let me describe user. Oh. Okay, so this bot stores information on the user that contacted it. So it has my ID, my name, my last name, my username, my language. And where my user... What? Ah, when the user was created in the database. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Ah, and we have user chat. Okay, this is an end-to-end -end relationship. So we have chat, only one chat. This is interesting because we don't see the text of the chat here. So it's a chat, it's a private chat, no title, username Pepelu. All members are administrators, nope. Created, updated, old. Okay, so let's see message then. Okay, hello Mr. Stupid Bot is somewhere in the middle of that. <laughs> so let me describe message. I think it's probably, it's hard to count. But three lines. It's probably text. Yeah, I think it's text from all these fields.
Ah, we have two messages. The slash start and the hello Mr. Stupid Bot message. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for the root, Square Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> Pet is now. Bearded now. Okay, so we what we have here is a bot that for now manually uh, gets updates and stores them in the database. And from here I will need to do something. Cool. So I want to do a very simple case and then I will start adding issues and close the master branch. So for now, for now, set up a sample bot. So what I did in this manager, I'm, yeah, it's an, it's an amend again of the previous commit. I just added the database credentials okay all right and now <clears throat> let's do a simple case of answering to a specific to a specific text how do i do that okay if i run the manager again it will not take and it will not get any updates because they are already in the database hmm. cool like an echo yeah but I want to see how to I had the API somewhere uh, how to write how to make the bot talk Did you know the phobia of long words is hippopotamus trosekipedialiophobia? Mm. I knew at, at some point. Sample bot. Uh, okay, the example bot is the one we... okay. Okay, so we have some commands there. So, for example, who am I replies to who am I, right? Probably. Aha, request and message. Who am I? Well, it's not replying. So I guess I need to enable it or something. Let's see the code. What do we have here? We have commands. We have the who am I command. Uh, oh, maybe I need to... Oh, actually, I, I probably need to do this to make it really work, the command. So it was processed, but it's not resp it's not answering. Okay, now I'm sure it didn't, it didn't work. I couldn't be sure the first time. Okay. Um, so the command is here. How can I run it? Download the photo after the send. What? What kind of message? Okay, so that's if if they have the photo because they request the profile photo. Wow. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> um. How do I set up that? Na, 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 na. So I'm running the manager. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, I see it. <laughs> Commands is a bit empty. Define all paths for your custom commands. Study programming. Danish Gambit. Yes. <laughs> yes, well done. Well done, Nightbot. Hey, Nightbot is back. I don't know if who am I is a custom one. Let's assume it is. So let's do this. And uh, here you can set some command specific parameters, which I don't need at this point. So I'm gonna keep it like this. Again, time out, Nightbot. Come on, Rogan. You can do better than that. You can force Nightbot to be timed out by Fizzy Waterbot. Okay, let's try this. So I'm gonna say again who am I here and I'm gonna process the command. He's misbehaving. Cool! I'm doing nothing, but <laughs> it's always nice when things work. Uh, so, enable sample, well, no, enable commands actually, all of them. So, we have more, not just the who am I. Um, also, can I run a cron? Let's try with that. Let's try. Instead of manually launching it, let me try here. Too many things opened. Uh, close this too. Close this too. Read all about it. Yeah, let's go here. Handle updates for 30 seconds, fetching every 5 seconds. Why for 30 seconds? Can I, can, can't I just do it like all the time? Okay, I'm gonna try without the L. Oh no. Okay. Then I'm gonna do for the next hour. What? How about that? <laughs> for the next hour, so 30 seconds. So 60 seconds is a minute and 30. 600 seconds is an hour. Let's do that. So every five seconds we have a new line. Update process zero. Zero. Okay. So now if I open Telegram and I will. So at most it will take five seconds for him to answer me. Yeah. So that's good. And now. Let's see what other commands do I have. What other commands do I have? On the example... I closed the example, didn't I? Uh, 
Uh, I don't really matter. I don't really mind. Oh! It stopped already. <laughs> what? Uh, weird. It stopped the moment there was an update, I think. That was weird. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's let's just do manually. No problems. No problems. Let's have a look at the commands again. Image command, help command, help command, slap command. There's a command called slap, guys. Slap a user around with a big truth. All right. Okay. Markdown, weather, weather location. Let's try that. Weather, Santiago de Compostela. Now let's process it. No. <laughs> uh, I'm about to create an API for the... Uh, nah, okay. Upload, edit message, cancel, start, inline keyboard, date, image, shortener, echo. <laughs> we just have an echo command. Interesting. Okay. Now, I need the bot to understand things that are not commands, ju not just commands, but regular text. So how do I do that? How do I do that? Um, let me see, when I process an update, Let me see, what do we have? We have webhooks, webhooks, a secret to access a webhook. When I set it, I will set it. Define IDs of admin users. I should probably add myself as an admin. Login. Yeah, why not? at least during development and I like this path bang everybody wait what token okay that's a button request limiter tries to prevent reaching telegram API limits yeah I like that 
Run the bot. Okay. Uh, Telegram exception. Telegram log exception. Okay. So the bot runs, and the bot. Besides the commands, how do I parse a normal text? Banning everybody? No, no, you shouldn't, Rogan. New chat members command. Help command. Generic command. Oh, actually. Floyd is raiding! Whoa! Hey Floyd, thanks for the raid, welcome people. Pepe considers me crazy enough to answer that seriously. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> um, TFW, did you mean WTF? <laughs> Hello raiders, welcome. We're doing some coding here. So I wanted to see how many files do I have there? 300 and what? No, are you kidding me? Um, one, two, three. So it's 37. And now, how many of them have usage? Not all of them. Definitely not, not all of them. Not even close, just 18. TFW is that feel when, ah, oh, okay. That feel when Pepe considers me crazy enough to answer that seriously. I consider you crazy enough, yeah. What the fuck, that feel when and for the world are all things. Yep, so. Commands that don't have usage are candidate oh, for the wing. Are candidates to be interesting. So before cancel we have callback query. Channel post command. I like that one. Channel post command. It chips! Hola, señor. Keyboard command. What is keyboard command? Oh, it's here. Pin message command. New chat title command. When you change the title. I think I'm going to go for this channel post and see what's that about. When a new post is created in a channel. Is a post a message? Okay, let's copy from the who am I command. Hello, logic. This should be fun. I'm drunk and I'm watching you code, which I don't understand normally. Okay, now you will understand for sure. Somebody disable Nightbots. We can force Nightbots out by giving him strikes. Broken, that's not funny. Okay, so what I will do is this, uh, this, I will return something, I will send a message, and what is data? I don't know, 
бла, бла, бла. And data text. Okay, where is data defined? Here. So data is defined here. Are we coding in a Scala? <laughs> what? No. This is PHP. Uh, why should I get the message? Okay, I, I think all of this makes sense. But I'm confused. A bit confused. Me no read good. Okay, send chat action. So if you send the chat action, why will you need to to send the message then? That's cryptic to me. Okay, caption. Where is caption used? It's just for the image. So I'll, I will not use this. And I will not use that. So I think I'm already done with this. Uh, and this, I might use it or not. Let's try this. Good luck with that bot, Pepe. Thank you, Roken. Okay, so let's send a random message to the bot. Hey, boy. This is a random message. Okay, and now let's process the message and it did nothing so apparently a message is not a post which is okay <laughs> so a post is maybe a shared media or I don't know Anyway, it's not really important. This get update, get channel post. Okay. Well, it definitely got the message. I just need to understand the commands. Edit and message command. Force reply, generic command, generic message. Generic message command, look at that. I should have started with that. gets executed when any type of message is sent. Why PHP? Why not Golang? Because requirements. Requirements. GMC. Generic message command. Yeah. Okay, so I'm basically going to open this and the generic message uh, here. Okay. And I think I'm gonna basically copy and paste. Execute no DB. Uh huh. And execute. Oh, it actually does something. It's just returning an empty response. If a conversation is busy, execute the conversation command after handling the message. 
Wow. Fetch conversation command if it exists and execute it. What is a conversation and what does why does a conversation have a command? I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's see the weather command. Hey, what happens here? Okay. Okay, I wanted to understand uh, if I could make a custom command to read any type of message instead of using the generic message command. Uh, there was some documentation I saw about the commands, the custom commands. Where was it? Okay, now let's let's use the generic for a moment. Um, confused about this. But okay, let me try this again. And I'm gonna copy everything basically from here. No. Okay. Okay, let's try this. Um, Telegram. Another message. Blah blah blah. Cool. Oh, and it it actually replies to that specific message. Ah, that's cool. It's not what I intended, but it's it's cool. <laughs> ah, because that's what it does here also. Ah. Yeah, now I understand everything. Now I understand why why you need a chat action and a message. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Or not. No, it's not because of that. It's just because of this. Reply to message ID. Right? If I don't send this, it will send the message without replying, I think. It sends the message, but it's not a reply. Hmm. So this is probably better for a conversation. Oof, the programming. Okay. What is Telegram? Are you serious about the question? <laughs> oh, I'm starting to be tired. But at least I want to, to do a, this very simple, stupid prototype. So... Um, 
Am I using user ID? User ID? No, I'm not using this. So bam. Am I using this? Yes. Am I using this? Yes. Am I using this? Nope. Bam. Telegram is a Spanish Instagram. <laughs> no. Is open source WhatsApp. Maybe. Not entirely open source though. Okay. Um, Do you need to be Spanish to use it, or Galician? Do you need to be Spanish to use it? No! No, you don't need to be Spanish, I think. Um, I don't only have Spanish <laughs> uh, or Galician contacts, no. Um, Oh, it can only return one message. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So what I was going to do is stupid. Or not. Nah, nah, nah. Forget about this. Forget about this. Um... Okay. Let's try that. Cool. Oh, the emote, the emote doesn't work. It does work if I do it. That's, that's interesting. Even if I answer, right? Reply. Fancy. Yeah. Okay, let's process now those two messages and he will answer. <laughs> Both of them. Okay. Um, where's the bot father again? Okay. What can I do with a bot? My bots. Set names, a description. I think I added the description already. Uh, or not or not 
You said e4, c5, c3, d5 was the main line. All my opponents plays nine moves or e5. Yeah, after e4, c5, c3, there are two main lines. One is d5 and the other is knight f6. e5 is not a good move. <coughs> Strategically. Bot settings, toggle inline mode, change inline feedback, can your bot be added to groups? But how do I set a profile? Ah, set user pick. Okay, send me the new profile photo for the bot. <gasps> cool. Cool. I'll send you. Um. Uh, yeah, of course, that's a dummy. Uh, Pepe, come on. I'm so confused, no one plays d5 against me. Well, d5 is very main line. Um, nice 6. Nice 6 is white's dream, basically, because you play d4. Uh, Chomsky, no, Chomsky. Let's see a photo of Chomsky. I might do some graphic art. <laughs> yeah, that's the face I remembered. Can I do a bot that resembles this? Uh. Mm. I might use a pick instead. Oh, look at that. This is cute. Um. Ah, I shouldn't use it. A copyrighted image, though. Mm. Nah, let's just do a robot. Nah. Originator of computer computational linguistics, yes. Also very sound politically, yeah. Yeah, any software developer knows about Chomsky. And most linguistics too. GIMP. Come on, open GIMP. Okay, let's do a uh, new image. Square image. Squared image. Let's say 400, 400. And. So we need to do a robot, robot, guys. I discovered this coconut yogurt that I am nuts about. And now I discovered that it's low on sugar and only 0.1 fat. Usually healthy stuff sucks. <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> Congrats. Congrats. How much are they paying you? John John, are you one of these influencers? Eh? <laughs> okay, um, I don't even know how to draw a robot. Uh,
Let's pick a color, a metallic one. Hey Fritz Kala, what's up? How you doing? Oof da. What is this, friends? Um, not sure. <laughs> I'm trying to to draw very fast. Actually, I should I shouldn't use more than a minute or two doing this. Ah, I like that of the emote. Um, dun dun. What? No, come on. This. And uh, let's say pencil. Mm, okay. This. Um. This. Okay. And now I should use the pencil or what? Or this maybe. Um. You don't stream full screen, by the way. What? What do you mean? Ah, yeah. No, because this is the proportion of my monitor. And I didn't want to stretch it because I didn't want things to be distorted. So, yeah. <laughs> I should probably do a better layout so so you, you don't get... Uh, a black bar on the right but yeah I, I didn't want to to distort that uh, please can I okay this is what I wanted instead okay and what I'm doing makes no sense of course it gets distorted when you feel it. What? It gets distorted when you feel it. No, 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 to stretch the... I mean, the proportion of my monitor is different from the proportion of the stream, so... <laughs> so, I need to find something to feel it. Instead of stretching all the, the image so it is full screen. I might not be explaining correctly. Um, also, I'm doing a very bad job at this. Um, what am I doing? What am I painting? <laughs> what am I actually painting here? Um, it's just a shape. Okay, this would make a little bit, a little bit more of sense. A little bit. And now I'm, the problem is now I need to fix some corners, which I shouldn't. First place. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Uh, let's put um, something.
Is that a circle? I'm not sure. Okay, this is a circle. Um, how do I make it funny? This way. Ah, no. I wanted to make the same size. Uh, maybe that's too too much of fun. <laughs> too much fun. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Um, okay. Now to make a real robot, it needs some some something. Hmm. You know what, this is a proof of concept, let's not use more time on this. So... This is definitely not... Copyrighted image. <laughs> Um, ooh, almost there, almost there. So I'm gonna add one pixel to make it perfectly square. That was good. And export as um, Chomsky. Export. No, oh, here. Okay, done. Um, I thought. Oh no, it's not downloads. It's. It's a street you know well. What? Maybe when you walk down every single day. Okay. Uh, Chomsky. To to I don't know here. The thing is to use it for for here. So send. Let's send a new profile photo, which is here. There. Okay. Ah, I should have put um, space around. Okay, I can still fix that. So it was good in the first place. Um, so in the first place it was 400. 400 centered. Let's try that. Export. <sighs> Set user pick. Updated. Uh, uh, not updated. It's not updated. <laughs> ah, now it is, but not here. So I guess it's sky. It has a catchy. Um, well, let's quit Telegram. 
and open it again. Now it is updated. Okay. What else can I do? Help. Um, set user pick, set commands, change the list of commands. Woo. Set about text. Let's put the description because I'm not sure if I have it. I don't see it in the profile. So set description. What can this bot do? Ah, let's see. And where do people see that? People will see this description when they open a chat with your bot in a blog title, what can this bot do? Uh-huh. I don't know where where is that bot that block. <laughs> Maybe it's at the beginning, it's when, when you start. So message share. Start. Let me process it. Try help to see all commands. Okay. Okay, not helping. So we have description, pick, about text. Okay, it's when they share the link. Okay. I use Python programming for my job. Do you know Python? Yes, of course I do know Python. Toggle privacy mode. Okay, I did that already. <laughs> my game's new game with games. What? Okay. Okay, let's see my boss. Only one, right? Yep. Oh, cool. This menu is cool. This menu is cool. Okay. So I have description, I have about, no commands. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, how can. Okay, never mind. Okay, I probably want to reset what I did to the gen channel post command. And the generic message command. Uh, oh, did I have it opened? Yes. I like your terminal colors. I never set up good dot files. Mm. Oh, give me a second. Um, Yeah, I use a friends dot files, but I'm not hundred percent sure <laughs> these colors come from there <laughs> because it's been a while. It's been like three years since the last time I I changed this. I think. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh no. Uh, okay, so... Okay, from here we're gonna use the bot, the conversation engine where I'm going to create from this point. Create the match, pattern matching rules and and everything. Hmm. It's a good starting point. It's a good starting point. Um, I will create a database structure, uh, a database section too, and I'm going to To add migrations there, or hmm. what are you going to do, Pepe? Okay, um, I'm I'm overthinking right now. So I have basically two options. The all the information from subjects and schedules I can I can get I can store them in the database, which I think is the correct way. Or I can do in files, which is the easiest way probably for the other person that has to work on this. Okay, files. Files is going to be. Um, okay, use that, use that, use that. So we have commands. I'm going to create a folder. Okay, nothing about DB. Let's delete DB. Uh, I'm going to create a folder called, if we have commands, we will have um, <laughs> Chomsky. Now, how do we call this conversational engine? I need a name for this. Naming is a terrible problem. <laughs> Conversational engine. I'm gonna call it Chomsky, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and it will have an entry point. Um, okay. Ah, uh, this is PHP, Pepe, not Java. Uh, okay, um, commands. So this generic command will We'll have to use it. We'll have to use Chomsky, Chomsky, uh, Chomsky. And I will need to autoload that with something. Anyway. What? Command not found? What am I? Editing? Oh, this is generic command. <laughs> I wanted to open generic message command. This is it. Okay.
Um, it would be nice to get the text of the original message. So I'm gonna do something really creepy here. I'm going to do something really creepy here, which is <laughs> print. Oh, this is terrible. Maybe I should look at the logs or the code or the documentation. But no, I'm not. I'm not that kind of person. I prefer doing creepy stuff. gonna be ugly well it's probably going to break anyway are you gonna break let's process this PHP manager I mean the use is not going to work or maybe it did it did ah. text it just has a text as expected, as expected. But okay, perfect. So we have the text. So now I would love to say Chomsky. Chomsky. Um, talk. Message get text. And Chosky will give us an answer. 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 Right? So for the moment we're gonna have just a static method. And I think I... yeah. Uh, talk, what are we passing to talk? Message get text, okay. Perfect. Perfect, right? No, I don't think this is going to work. I can't believe, well, first of all, this is wrong. <laughs> no, I can't believe this import will work. Oh, there's a requirement, guys. The bot should understand an answer in Galician. So, sorry about that. Class Chomsky, Chomsky not found. Exactly. This is exactly what I expected. Why didn't it fail in the previous execution? Interesting. All right, so... Um, Fail, 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 fail. How do I import this? Because there's a thing with these bots that the commands, for example, it loads them somehow. It does not use the vendor auto load. Okay, I guess I could add that to the auto load. I think there's a way in Composer to, 
to say where your source code is and generate auto load for it, right? for a legacy one. Hey! Hey Fuxia! Oh, I saw tri a tips and tricks there that had good likes. Ah, exactly, this is what I... W Oof, that, what did I click? I think this is what I was looking for. Are you finally learning Composer? Uh, <laughs> well, I used Composer a lot of times. Learning, I think I will never. <laughs> uh, let's copy everything. Uh, so we don't have auto load, so let's add it here. And basically I don't want this. And Chomsky. It has its subtleties. Yeah. Uh, well, let me have a quick look see at the auto load. Okay, nice one. Nice one. Auto load real in composer. <laughs> Vendor composer auto load real. And this includes all the the other vendor folders in a creepy way. Okay. Oof that. Okay. Let's try the dump composer, dump auto load, and see what what does it do. Generating auto load files. Okay, status will not say anything, but if we look now at this, didn't change anything. Ay ay ay. And here. It didn't change anything, did it? So... It's probably not working. Probably not working. class map. Should I add the full? You got to look for one more directories and it will scan for PHP, Inc and HH. It will add any classes, interfaces and traits. So it has to look good. It, it, it does look good. But this dot dot I'm not sure about. Hmm. Aha. Okay. Vendor composer auto load. Base dir. The dot base dir is vendor dir, and it goes up. So it's relat relative to vendor. Okay. So so then I really need this. Aha! It is a folder, isn't it? 
it is a folder. <laughs> it's because of the uppercase. Mm -hmm. I mean, because commands was uppercase, I, 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 I did the same. Um, okay, let's let's do the next. Let's create a source code. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I'm about to finish <laughs> Fuxia for today. I'm <laughs> I'm starting to tilt here. Um, so I'm gonna call this SRC. And I think the namespace will be okay anyway. I probably don't need to add uh, SRC. Do, do I need to add this? I don't know. Ah, okay, then the dot dot wasn't required. It was working in the first place. I'm so stupid. Let's put it as it was. I didn't ever try if it worked, did I? Probably up to date. He generated auto load files anyway. Okay, and this will not contain that, so it will, it should break. It does not break. Oh, no updates? What? Maybe that's because. That's why it didn't break. Okay. Perfect. It didn't break. And let's be sure I'm not using an old version. Let's be sure I'm using actually the Chomsky class. No Nintendo we get the theater. I do this. Um, oof, da. Ah, formatting does not work. Okay, never mind. Let's put it as it was. And for now, it will not understand anything. So, next. <sighs> so, I'm using Chomsky there. Generating auto load. It's working somehow, mysteriously. Um, that's okay. Um, engine starting point. And from this point on, I'm going to take this seriously. Oh, one little extra thing. Uh, unit testing, unit testing, uh, do I have any tests here? Nope. How do I do it? Composer, require, let me close stuff that I don't, I no longer I think I can close GIMP already. What? 
Where is GIMP? Here. I can close GIMP already. Okay, I don't need the database. All the messages are there. Okay, let's exit now. Uh oh. No, my PHP version is too old. Forking Mac. Forking Mac. Can I use a previous version of PHP unit? Is, is it gonna be terrible? Ugh. What's the time? Okay. Hmm. Three hours. Uh, okay, it should be installed, but to run the tests, I need to do this command. Two times in one day, people did the Rui Lopez exchange to me. Now I have to learn this crap. <laughs> it happened something funny to me um, last year. Yeah, last year in a tournament, over the board tournament, but it was a Blitz tournament, maybe 15 minutes plus 5 or something like that. In a round, I get to play against uh, an FM, a Fide Master. And he plays e4, and I never play e5, but in that game I played e5. <laughs> so he played the exchange, uh, <laughs> the exchange variation, and I was like, uh, okay, no worries, I take with the d pawn, and he cannot take my e5 pawn. So he didn't take the pawn, of course, because he cannot. But then we played another move, like he castled. And then I castled and he took the pawn and I was like, uh oh, I just lost the pawn because <laughs> yeah, at some point I forgot about defending the pawn. So I went a pawn down from from the opening very fast against an FM. And I won that game, that's why I have a good memory of that. <laughs> I won that game in the end. Okay, run this. Okay, no tests. No, that's the version, okay. Uh, the example above assumes that Composer is on your path. Yeah, actually for Blitz, losing a pawn in the opening is not the end of the world, especially if your opponent gets too confident. This was the case. Uh, okay, I already have this, and I already have that, probably. So... Let's create... Oh no, I don't have SRC, I have Chomsky, but it's okay. Let's create a folder for tests. And let's create Chomsky test. 
jump skip. Well, I will have some specific tests. So let's call it basic conversation test. So what do we have here? I like this and I'm gonna copy the example. Okay. And we have the auto load. So I can use, because it's in a different namespace, I can use, or I can put the same namespace. Hmm. No, I'm gonna use Chomsky. Chomsky. Um, test something um, assert instance instance of Chomsky uh, the only method I have returns a string okay mm, expecting exceptions I like that but nah, let's just. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> uh, what was the method talk? And I'm gonna say something, and it will return something that now should fail. Uh, tests. Oh, cool, it works. So it's something like should not understand. Hmm. Some. Non Nintendo, okay, okay, let's be clear. Something. So, okay, now it passes. Can I use colors? Yeah. And I can probably add an XML configuration file. PHP unit 7. Oh, it's the same, right? Okay, same example. Oh, bootstrap vendor auto load. Hello, Chief Vala. Test docs tests. Let's try this for a second. Oh, let me try all of this. I don't know if I need this bootstrap vendor auto load, probably not. Failed opening tests for inclusion. Class tests not be found. Yeah. There. Okay. Cool. Um. Hmm, or I just learned the Schliemann <laughs> and skip this exchange nonsense. Uh, or the Berlin. Also that. What are you building? I'm building a Telegram bot. Just a Telegram bot. So I have Telegram here. And amongst all my contacts I have this bot that we created and I can tell things hey ho to the bot and or send commands uh, like who am I and now it's manual but I will at some point it will have a cron here and it will 
throw this command to handle all those messages and answer them. So now it should answer both of them, the hey ho no Nintendo, which is I don't understand in Galician, and the who am I, it gets my profile pic and sends information about me. So yeah, this bot, just this bot. But this is the starting point, this is the infrastructure, what we did today. Um, it's a telegram, a working telegram bot, but from this point on, I'm going to build a conversational bot, so I will add some pattern matching rules. So another person who's not me can start adding knowledge to the to the bot without coding knowledge that she has not. So so yeah, I, I will probably I will probably code more of this this week because I need to finish this small project in the next week probably. Okay, um, so now I was trying to set up some unit testing here uh, and I can do this, right? So let me add a script on being test. Yes, it's PHP. I don't really like PHP, but there's some requirement that this is going to be hosted in a PHP environment, so I'm gonna use what you have to use. Um, I need I need to copy something from somewhere. Okay, yeah, exactly. Uh, what? Ah, okay. Um, so I want to do this. Things. Vendor. Okay, so I didn't copy this. Copy. But I don't need to do CD. I can just run this this command. I think. And this is with uppercase. Oh, but I need this, yeah, there, there, okay. Uh, this should probably work. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> and now I can run tests like that. Yeah, although the colors didn't work, or I forget about it, maybe. I forgot about it, yeah. Probably copied the wrong command colors okay okay I can run tests yay let me edit this test uh, what oh I executed what I didn't want to execute but it's okay um, let me see if I can get a data provider here uh, documentation. Uh, English, please. Dun, 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 dun. Fixture. Is Fixture a data provider? Uh, 
Uh, not exactly. Not exactly. Uh, I don't see anything like a provider in the documentation. Did this feature disappear? Maybe under organizing tests. Test suite. Not exactly. Test doubles. Extending PHP unit? No, that doesn't seem right. Nope. Okay, 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 okay. Risky tests. So random tests or what? King Spawn. Not sure how old that chat is, but I'm liking the Schliemann recently. Are you, OJ? Output during text execution. Yeah, not good. Um, annotations. Oh, maybe it's just documented here under... Yeah, data provider is here. Wow, they don't have... <laughs> They have it like there, like, uh, well, just another annotation. A test method can accept arbitrary arguments. Yeah, this is what I want. Um, see data provider for more details. So there's a point in the documentation on this. Oh, it's under writing tests. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, this example is perfect. Let's see the line of my sick duck. Okay. <laughs> uh, stuff. Uh, stuff that. Chomsky should not understand. Okay. So I need a private or public. It has to be public, right? I think it has to be public. A function. Um, and return an array of cases. And uh, okay, every case. Yeah, but better. I like better this new notation. New and each array has some parameters. So I'm gonna have it's pronounced public, public, not public, public, Pepe, public, and publish. It's also pronounced fuchsia. Hey, Jim, fuchsia, yeah. Am I not saying it right, Fuchsia? Oh, you mean like it's a long U, Fuchsia? Publish, publish. I can understand publish and public. Okay, um, parameters, parameters. Um, stuff, expected. No, just the stuff, just the stuff, just a list of things that shouldn't be understood. She just says it all the time, okay. But to other streamers, ah, oh, right. 
I was saying Fuchsia to myself like the plant Fuchsia, which sounds something like Fuchsia. Fuchsia. <laughs> Will Pasha has developed a habit to insert random sh into my name. The Fuchsia? Fuchsia? Okay, so stuff and what it should return is basically this with stuff. Am I doing this right? I think I am. Yeah, two data sets there. We data set zero and data set one. Let me try an associative ar array. I'm kind of wondering what happens if I do this. Blah. No. Will it say, yeah, instead of 0 and 1, it says that. Okay, it's totally useless in this case, but it's good to know. Mojitix in the terminal as well. Yeah, I, I, I could use them. Ah, yeah, well, it's using them, yeah. Is there still a long way to go, or is it ready? Uh, still a long way to go in the project, but not in the stream. I'm I'm basically finishing this for today. I'm gonna call it a day. Yeah, it's in PHP output in PHP unit output. OJ. Yeah, that's right. I can I can I can basically include whatever I could do this. Yeah. <laughs> that is not working anywhere on Windows as far as I can tell. Ah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I, I prefer not to <laughs> not to abuse these kind of things um, actually I think I will do some funny stuff here stuff not to understand and it's just the list. Like I think it's it's more readable this way. And then I prepare the data to return. Like this and now if I run the tests I have each case saying in the outputs what was the entry what was the text uh, and I only need to edit this array uh, so okay I like that maybe actually I need this in any other places. So I'm gonna do some kind of um, list to uh, data sets. List to data sets. Yeah. 
I think I will need this. So yeah, in this case this is list and uh, I'm really tempted to inline this. I think I'm gonna do it, yeah. There we go. Is that editor sublime? It is sublime. But it's not sublime. I mean, it is sublime if sublime is an adjective, like it's gorgeous. But no, it's not sublime. It, this is just beam. It's just beam. Okay. So I like this. And. Seems to be beam, but made pretty. Mm. It's just beam. <laughs> I didn't make anything pretty, it's just the colors of the terminal and the syntax highlighting of Beam. Okay, um, I think I think I'm done for today. Uh, so what I did here is set up the tests, or why did it download that photo? What? Oh. It did download my profile photo. Haha. <laughs> because the who am I command required it. That's funny. But I'm not gonna keep it. At least I'm not gonna... <gasps> ah, what I should do is this. Yeah. Not sure if Vim defaults to UTF-8 these days. Um, I think it does. Do you know programming Fuchs? Ah, Fuchs, Fuchs, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, what do we have? Um, Composer, just PHP unit and something changed in the log, of course. Okay, so uh, so this addition to git ignore about downloads, it has to do to, with the previous commit where, amongst other things, I added these paths for downloads and uploads, so I'm gonna do an amend for the previous commit with that one. Yeah. And now with the rest, I'm gonna just uh, set up PHP unit tests. Okay. Cool, because it's like Mandarin Chinese to me. <laughs> okay, I'm done for today. Yeah, most programming languages have similar simple grammar as Mandarin. <laughs> Alrighty. So now that we have something to start with, uh, I'm going to I'm going to settings and no more commits to master because this project is getting serious and probably tomorrow I will tomorrow it's Wednesday I'm not sure but very soon I will be able to add my partner to make pull requests so so that's where you need some control that I'm going to add now, a protection rule on the master branch. Uh, require reviews before merging. Oh, I could add... 
I could add Travis here. But I will not. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. No, just like this. Okay. Okay. I guess it's this one. Yep. Um. Not sure if creating issues. Maybe I have clear mind on what should be done, and I should only add issues when when books happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, that was it for today. Um, it's almost two a.m. here, so I think. So I'm gonna call it a day. It was fun. Bugs, not books. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um... I'm gonna play some chess now. I really, I really want to play some chess. So, oh, today I didn't do puzzle rush yet. Hmm. Pepe, why do you have such a strong German accent? I don't have a strong. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody here will get this ref. It's more Spanish. Makes me want to play science and industry. No, I don't I don't get the ref. Oh yeah. Strong German accent. I don't know. I don't think my, my accent is German. Ich spreche kein Deutsch. Apparently the Fuchsia sounds like a upper upper class English gentleman. Um, okay, I want to switch to chess, but I don't know whether whether I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, I'll cut, I'll cut this part of the stream, <laughs> of the video. <laughs> mm, what should I do? <gasps> should I do a poll? 